I go every year. Um, since 2006, when my parents finally made me go, I have gone every year since I've been home. Wow. Some years I've gone twice. Basically, okay. whenever I go back to Virginia, I right. go to Shanksville. Like, I, right. okay. it's just not an option. I, mean, right. I will make time every time I go back there. But That's um, awesome. at this point, raised we've raised over um, just over $18,000 for the tower. So nice. I kind of like to think to myself that we're raising money for Dior's Chime. That's, right. that's mm-hmm. kind of how I look at it. So, yeah. So, so that's kind of how everything got started, you know? right? And uh, well, that's and a, um, that's phenomenal. Benefits, and it's morphed into other benefit shows for me to do. You know, it's like after the, I started doing Flight ninety three, it was like other things started happening. You know, like um, there was like a massive tornado in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, back in I think two thousand ten, and instantly I was like, oh my god, we got to do a benefit show for Tuscaloosa. You know, right. mm-hmm. or. You know, I've done camp benefits to raise money for cancer research, and I've raised done a ben- two, one or two benefits for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Oh, my cool, man! Memory, you know, right. like my mom wanted me to support St. Jude, so I've been doing that in her memory, and you know, so other things. You know, it's, it's so right. Like, mm-hmm. It's ultimately this connection I had with Dior has set set off this chain reaction of events. Right. Um, that has just really morphed into this thing that I do now that kind of takes on a life of its own. Really? It's like right. I kind of put it in motion and it just kind of takes off. Right. You know? So it's, it's really, it's really awesome. You know, um, I'm really glad that I discovered, uh, this gift, honestly, that Dior gave to me, you know, right. to be able to raise funding and awareness for the memorial and all these other important causes out there, you know? Right. So, so yeah, a big part of what I do. <laughs> outstanding, <laughs> outstanding. So this yeah. year, well, I know when we spoke earlier during the week, the San Diego show got canceled that you did with the fire department out there, correct? Correct, yeah. So um, the memorial in Shanksville is, the elements are, are almost complete at this point. And I, I felt the need, uh, last year to raise money for San Diego firefighter aid right out here um, you know living in in, in, in California um, we have the wildfire season and it's brutal I learned all about wildfires when I, when I lived in Colorado so yeah very familiar with it and yeah so you know yeah yes. I mean it's a very brutal time of year for the state and um, there's a lot of damage and, uh, and and a lot of lives lost, you know, including firefighters. And right. uh, I've become very close with the girls who run San Diego Firefighter Aid mm-hmm. since uh, in the last couple of years. You know, I've been doing the stair climb since about 2000, gosh, I think 14 or 15. But um, over the years, I've developed relationships with the a couple of the girls that run the age, run the organization. Right. Uh-huh. And uh, so, like last year, and I even, I want to say the year before, I raised our, the, the benefit show we did uh, was kind of like a 50-50 deal. It was like half the money went to the Flight 93 Memorial and half went to Firefighter. Age. Nice, so, okay. Um, so I've been kind of shifting, like still supporting the Memorial, of course, and the programs they offer, and I can talk about that too. But um, also at this point, it's like the firefighters out here, they need a ton of support. I mean, there's just so much going on. Um, I'm learning so much about the firefighter community out here, not just like the firefighters themselves needing the support, whether it's like, you know, physical therapy or mental health treatment. Mm -hmm. Um, They, a lot of them, you know, they all have, most of them have families, they have kids. Um, Some of the family, some of the firefighters have kids with disabilities who need services, you know. So the money goes to all different, and the money goes to the families and the firefighters in a variety of aspects. And it's just, uh, with COVID right now especially, uh, they need need our support more than ever. Sounds like lots of moving parts, but that's a good thing in some cases. To, uh, yeah, to raise awareness. Sure. So the last couple of years, you know, it's been, you know, kind of teaming up the five. I've been kind of uh, partnering my 9-11 benefit show with the firefighter aid right. organization mm-hmm. um, because there is a separate event that's done in San Diego every year. And it's the San Diego 9-11 Memorial Stair Climb, hence my shirt from last year. <laughs> okay. And um, basically, it's held, so it's a it's a it's an event to honor um, 
the firefight. Well, it's to honor everyone who was lost on 9-11. Um, you know, the, and, and the focus, the main focus, I would say, considering what we do in, 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 the, in the Memorial Stair Climb is we're ultimately honor, honoring like the firefighters who lost their lives at the World Trade Center. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're climbing 110 stories because um, that's what the towers were, 110 right. stories. And you're climbing with, you're climbing with just, you know, citizens of San Diego, but you're also climbing with like active military and veterans, uh, police officers, border patrol. Me. Okay. <laughs> and San Diego firefighters who are climbing those stairs in full gear, like full gear. Right, so the tanks, the, uh, the coats, the everything. the building was on fire. Right. They're, they're doing what the firefighters in New York were doing on the 9-11. Wow. Um, and so you get like, it's very, uh, it's very intense right. uh, emotionally because just for the reasons why you're doing it and the stairwells get very, very hot. Right. Because of all the people in the stairwells. Right. It kind of, it makes you think like how hot were the stairwells in the trade center on September. Exactly. You know, so you're getting that, you're getting the physical effects from it. Right. But it's all inspiring and motivating. You know what right. I mean? Mm -hmm. So. Sorry. That's okay.